My name is Tragedy Gaddafi, founder of 252, 25 to Life Music, architect to the War Report, intelligent hoodlum. Tell me, was it worth the manhood? I'm a saint, set with the title, pippin' is vital, now you're suicidal. Revolution, execution, my solution, no solution. You know, CNN, things of that nature. Right now, we in Queensbridge Park, which is called River Park. And this park right here is, is very, a very historical part of not just Queensbridge history or any artists from Queensbridge, but hip hop history in, in, in itself. We're here right now and um, I was asked to come and, you know, basically define a moment in time and define a place that defines a specific moment in time. This was a great pillar, you know, to, to set up a DJ, a DJ booth, you know, turntables, you know, the speakers would be on the sides right here. You know, you have people like the All Brothers out of here. A lot of people don't know about the All Brothers, but you had Marley Marl, of course, Jappy Jap, you know, coming out of here, coming out here rather, and spinning. And for me, like, this was a big deal. This was my introduction to hip hop, my introduction to like, a show because if you could rock it here with this crowd again this is Queensbridge housing projects 96 buildings six floors six blocks one of the biggest housing projects in the entire world and you know not for nothing if you could if you can please and satisfy and rock this crowd you know you you would gain the confidence as an MC to rock any crowd and I gotta credit that to QB like for giving me that you know that stamp to help me feel confident as an artist and as a performer to go out into the world and, and shake out and get busy, you know? Ah, to me. Rugas with me when I'm in bed. Overseas, overhead, thoroughbred. This is Hollowhead. 22 travel from Lake. So, this is where they would kind of rope this off. These rope these pillars off with like a, you know, a rope or whatever, some wire. And the ill thing about it is these lamps, I don't know if they even come on anymore, but they used to be, you know, they used to be live with electricity and they would open up those lamps right there. It'd be like a little latch in the back. They open the lamp up and they would run an extension cord to the lamp. And I guess, you know, city must have got hip to it. And people started running extension cords from here all the way to somebody's window. I don't care if their window was on the first floor, second floor, third floor, or all the way to the sixth floor. But motherfuckers would have, excuse me, dudes would have the longest extension cord game. I don't think anybody could beat Queens Bridges extension cord game. You know, some dudes probably had to get the same extension cord their moms used to beat them with. You know what I'm saying? I know I probably did a few times. And I and, and we come and dudes would extend that cord to get that power. And you know, once the power was up, yo, you was rocking. I remember, um, damn, this kind of this kind of tells my age too, but um, yeah, it had to be Tanner Gardner's record. Maybe the record was out 20 years before I before I really heard it though. I remember hearing Heartbeat, and like, I lived on the first floor right over here, which is the 41st side of Vernon. And when I heard Heartbeat, you know, Heartbeat had that. <laughs> Tanner Gardner, heartbeat, you make me feel so weak. See, this is classic shit. I know a lot of these youngers be like, yo, he's old school. Nah, I'm true school. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. But this is classic shit. So the beat, the bass from the heartbeat sound would like, would like vibrate my window. I always loved music. Like, you know, coming up, I used to go out, out a lot with my mom. So I'd be in all the bars with her. And my mother was young, so I, I was privy to a lot of party experience in terms of music. So I grew up with the, you know, the, the, the flashlights, with George Clinton, peace to George Clinton, the OG, the pioneer, the genius. Um, I grew up with a lot of stuff like that. And you know, you had other, you had other groups that, that were like infused, that hip hop was kind of built off of that a lot of people don't really talk about, like the Eurythmics and groups like that. And um, I mean, dudes would come and rock off a, a Hall and Oates beat in the park. Dudes would like spin a Hall and Oates back, keep keep bringing the record back, and dudes would rock off that. So my mom's wasn't really trying to let me go out late at night like that, of course. So you know, I do the I do the old the decoy in the bed joint, throw the throw the pillows in the bed, 
Dummy in the bed? Yeah, yeah, that's right, dummy in the bed joint. You know, the crash dummy, have him in the bed. And I jump out the window and I run to this park. And I remember one of the first times I came to this park, Molly was rocking and like, I stood over here on the side somewhere and I was like so amazed. And I knew kind of at that moment what I was gonna do. Oh, wait, It means a lot to me, as I'm sure, you know, it would mean as much to like maybe, you know, a Molly or a Shan, you know, because like, you know, they, they started, yeah, they started what Queensbridge grew to become a legacy. And they started that, you know, you probably, you probably wouldn't have had your, you know, Nas's and your Mob Deeps, your CNN's, your Nature's, your Poets, you know, your Screwballs and, you know, your, uh, your ACD's and, all those, all the other groups that come out of here and that got busy, man, that were inspired by this place and that moment in time. And this place actually captured that. If you look at it now, man, it's like, it's beat up, but it got so much, it's so rich to me. It's, it's so rich, even though it looks decrepit and it's cracking, you know, probably a lot of them beats, man, probably made them joints, made the walls chip off and all that, because it was just banging, man, this whole park. and. You know, it'd be if, if you could turn around and just get a scope of this park right here, like, this whole shit would be full, man. This whole park would be full, and it's, it's amazing, man. This is a real important place right here, and a, and a real pivotal time in hip-hop alone. And for me, I mean, it might not mean much to everybody else, but to me, this place means a lot, you know? It's like, it's like going back to school and, or going back to a, a, a high school reunion or something.